As a child, I saw my mother adorn herself with sarees. I wondered, how could a piece of fabric transform into such intricate foldings? Saree draping is an art in itself which women of India take pride in. In the search of the origin for silk sarees, I journeyed to Vijayawada, the second largest city in Andhra Pradesh. Vijayawada lies on the banks of Krishna River, surrounded by the hills of Eastern Ghats, known as Indra Kaladri Hills. The city is known in the state for its cultural history and heritage. Situated nearby is Mangalgiri, a town located on the Guntu Vijayawara Highway, which is known for its saris and fabrics. The Mangalgiri fabric is produced by weaving with the help of pit looms from comb dyan by warp and woof interlacing. The Nizam design is another characteristic of the fabric. The occupation of weaving is as old as 400 years as per some inscriptions found at the region. Located just 12 kilometers away from Vijayawara, the Handloom town is renowned for the skills of its artisans. With more than 3,000 looms in operation, the town is always bustling with activity as the weavers create magic on cotton and silk. Designing on the fabric is a lot more complicated, involving the challenging tie and dye method. Here, the designs in various colors are formed on the fabric, either by wrap thread or the weft thread or by both. The weavers has to be watchful always, working in perfect rhythm and to never break from the flow. Seven days of hard labor is to be put into just the craft. So the next time you start bargaining, do consider the effort put into the fine fabric. The right mix of ties and weaving patterns result in the fabric with its easy texture, durability, ability to absorb sweat and finish to drape. While weaving is the main segment which involves hard work, making of wraps and dyeing, the groundwork involves many people. It's not only providing a great means of livelihood, but 
but also keeping the tradition alive.